welcome to another Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm YouGeek1 and today we're going to take a look at FreeCAD. FreeCAD is, as it states here, a parametric 3D modeler and has a lot of uh, instick tools like uh, film calculations and a lot of other stuff. So we're going to take a look at it. So we're going to go and download it. And for the Linux, you can go ahead and like Ubuntu. Um, it's also possible to install it via Snap, um, I believe. But if you just want to install it, you can go ahead and add your repository. You go and open up the terminal, and you're gonna go ahead and uh, sudo up add and type in your password. And we're gonna click enter. And that's added, and you just go ahead and type sudo apt get update. And it's gonna update everything about it. So after that, you just go ahead and in, uh, install it by going um, sudo apt get install uh, freecad and just uh, install it. But um, we are not going to do that, I have already installed it. Uh, you can also probably in some standard software download go ahead and search for it and just go free cap and you will find it right here just to install it. So, but as I said we are going to close that one down and we are just going to go ahead and open it. And uh, when it starts open, we are going to wait a minute here, uh, you get greeted by a little um, start screen here and you can go ahead and get started and uh, a lot of help and uh, you can go ahead and search the uh, forums for a bit help um, this is a free uh, uh, CAD system so it's not as well defined as the paid ones but it works pretty well and has a lot of tools so I'm gonna go ahead and use the part designer and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a cube it's not gonna be quite a cube, so we're gonna go ahead and go into model here, and we're gonna edit this, and we're gonna make it the uh, length is gonna be uh, about two meters long, so two thousand millimeters. I'm gonna scroll out a bit, and we're gonna go ahead, and uh, the width is gonna be like uh, let's see here, three hundred and fifty, I believe. And the height, uh, it's gonna be 30 millimeters. So my plan here is is gonna do a dive board, and we're gonna do a calculation of it and see if it will break or not. Um, after you have done that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go into the tools. Uh, ah, sorry, I believe it's here in the view, and you go ahead into the workbench, and you're gonna go into the fem. Uh, calculations you have it opened here uh, just click the tube and go ahead and do uh, create a new mechanical and it's gonna create a mesh for you so we're gonna just apply the moderate finance here and when I've done that I'm gonna click OK and now we have a basic analysis with a box mesh uh, and on this we're gonna need a fixed constraints our board is gonna be stationed somewhere so I'm gonna say it's gonna be fixed and I'm gonna use um, the back surface here and I'm gonna click uh, OK and when we have done that um, we can go ahead and put on a load so we're gonna use the create fem constraint for force and we're gonna jump on the edge of the board here and uh, let's use um, a weight of, I don't know, um, first I'm going to use the direction and for that we need uh, a little edge here. Uh, let's see if I can get it. It's a bit finagly sometimes because it is uh, free software. There we got it. And we're going to go ahead and choose the other direction. And the load, uh, it's in newtons and for I'll, let's see, someone who weighs 100 kilos, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, that's 100 kilos and plus Newton is 9.82, uh, but just gonna add 10, so about a thousand Newtons, that's about 100 kilos. So, I'm gonna click OK there, 
and some out. And now we have the mesh, we have the constraints, we have the force, and now we need a material. So we're gonna use, let's see here, our little dive board is gonna be of wood, generic. And we're gonna click OK here. And now we have everything for our calculations. So we're just gonna go ahead, uh, I'm gonna show my mesh here, and I'm gonna hide my uh, CAD. Uh, let's see here, da -da 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 -da. hide. So you're gonna click on the calculix and uh, you got a little button up here and you're gonna start calculations from the selected solver. And we're gonna do a static one with, uh, we're gonna write the calculation file and just run the calculation. And there you have it, the calculation is done. We can now close out of this and we have a results file. And for our results, we're gonna go ahead and show. Um, on the model, we're gonna sh mm, gonna uh, let's see here. We're gonna hide that one. So yeah, here we have the let's see here show uh, the, 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 the toggle visibility. It's a bit finagle sometimes to get this. Um, da, 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 da. There you go. I needed to hide it and show it. So here we have the um, results. If we check the von Mises uh, tensile von Mises stress, uh, we can go ahead and just search for some ultimate tensile strength for, uh, let's say, wood. Um, wood is going to break at 40. Um, uh, let's see, it's in megapascal. Um, and we have just about under 40. So our board here will hold when we jump into the water. And you can see how much it's gonna bend with that weight and it's bending quite a lot here. And you can scale the factor to just do it more. And we can check the displacements as well if we want. So if we look at our axis, we can check that in Z is the jumping direction. So if I use Z, um, the minimum is 282 millimeters. It's moving downwards. So I think it's a real cool um, CAD system and it has a lot of potential and a lot of uh, um, uh, toolbars and uh, you can work with it a lot. So I really suggest you for looking it up. And uh, so yeah, if you wanna see another video of this, I have quite the knowledge of programs like this. So don't be afraid to ask and uh, maybe we can do something more. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.